it's time for another quick unboxing. We've got the parcel here from Martin and Polyplay. And if you're not familiar with Polyplay, they're a publisher specialising in retro games for many formats, including the Commodore 64 and soon to be the NES with Sam's Journey, which I'm looking forward to. But this is a sample of another game which started out on the Commodore 64 and has now appeared on several different formats. So let's open up here. The large invoice and an address sticker on the front, so I took them off before we started. And now we can get inside. It's wrapped up in plain paper inside that. So let's have a look inside. We have assembloids for the Atari Lynx. Limited edition number 104 of 150, so there's still some available at the time of recording. Fast paced action puzzle, different difficulty levels from kids mode to total mayhem, stunning graphics, two musical pieces, full in game music optional, high score codes for internet score charts, and true thing original hardware. We believe in working within the original limitations of the given system. This game runs off unmodified hardware and uses cartridges without post system era enhancements. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, there's several uh, recent games for. Things like the Atari 2600 console with extra processors and so on. But this is a pure Atari Lynx game. As you can see on the back here, we've got screenshots from the Lynx and the Rotara Supervision console, which is an interesting choice. And you can see there the basic how to play instructions. So you have a central square where a new puzzle piece appears. You shift it to one of the four locations around and the aim is to make a full face so you can either make four pieces together to make a face a mixed face or you can get four of the same type here's the pig and once you have four you get a bonus the full face bonus so you can see a nice glossy box let's go carefully inside and have a look at what we have in here so we have the cartridge itself in a nice little insert Printed label and got the lip to get out easily. So that's nice. We have signed card from Pie Art, Assembloids, a Polyplay sticker, Prior Art sticker, and a really nice Polyplay sticker. And then we have the full colour manual from Polyplay about how. Features, how to start, how to play, quick start. Great assemblies by fitting their faces together. Points scored based on how complete your face is. Clear the whole board for an extra life. Features, similar to what you said on the back. The engine prevents you from getting cleared board early on by trial and error. To fix 256 kilobyte cartridge. How to start, how to play. There's help and credits available how to play and then the scores you get a QR code on the screen at the end so you can scan that and send your score to an email and scores extras so a couple of extras to this cartridge accessed by pressing option one and one of the arrow keys during power up while the screen is still black there's a controllable 3d engine demo check some over the whole cart full cart image by John Egg 287 colours, as featured in the Prime Art Scene Demo Bastion, and a mod player. And then there's the credits developed by Programming Martin and Fuse Event, graphics by Lova Vito Lindo, and music and sound by Kemal Jammer Volonkowski. Box art in memory of Ralph Nice, packaging design of Sebastian Beck, published by Polyplay. The tools used there, thanks to. And that's it. So, space for notes at the back. So, I've got a release from Polyplay there and I will try to add some gameplay footage from the emulator. So, hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned to the channel for more. 
unboxing, retro shelf, merch stand, and gameplay.
A quick addendum to the video because when I looked in the box I forgot to check for the included poster so you can see the box art by Ron there and it's included with both the Atari links and Watara supervision so check out polyplay.xyz for the orders there's limited edition standard edition and digital ROM available <laughs>